After a sunny start to our Friday, we're starting to see some rain showers now moving through the area. As you see on exact track radar, pretty much widespread light rain showers now crossing the I-39 corridor, just reaching Belvedere. Going to be reaching Rochelle here in the next few minutes, crossing into DeKalb County and across really all of northwestern Illinois, really seeing these light rain showers that are moving through. As we take a look at the regional picture, two things I want to point out here. We have on the satellite picture, you can notice this little area of clearing. We're getting some sunshine through here, so maybe that's going to help our temperatures out just a little bit. But before we have another uh, round of some more isolated rain showers that will be reaching into our area towards this evening. So today only going to be in the middle, maybe upper 50s will depends on how much sunshine we see in that break to 56 degrees with those showers moving through throughout the afternoon. Also pretty breezy with gusts up to 30 miles per hour across eastern Iowa. They've even had some isolated gusts up to 40 miles per hour. So if you have any Halloween decorations out or anything like that, make sure that they're secure. Make sure they're not blowing into the yard but also we'll be dealing with some pretty chilly conditions. But as we take a look here on Future Trek, we do have these rain showers that will be moving east out of the area, still seeing some isolated activity here towards 2 o'clock. And then there you see that break in the action before another round of some more isolated and very light rain showers, pretty drizzly conditions it looks like. Now here we are looking at 7 p.m. and this activity fairly isolated, so we could see some soggy starts to our, kick, our kickoff for our football games tonight. So make sure, maybe bring the umbrella with you, but but also make sure you have the jackets because we have a pretty chilly uh, Friday night football night in stores. We have temperatures starting off in the 50s, cooling off into the 40s, but when you factor in those gusts, it's going to feel more like the lower 40s, so definitely make sure you are bundling up as we also have those drizzly conditions again early on, but the rest of the night look hopefully looking to stay dry. But tonight, as the rain clears out and clouds will gradually clear out, temperatures dropping into the upper 30s, 39 degrees for a low tonight. We're we're going to keep that breeze going even into our day tomorrow with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. We'll see a whole bunch more sunshine compared to today, but that's not going to help our temperatures. Only topping out at 57 degrees for Saturday and in for Sunday as well as we do see more clouds, though that breeze is calming down just a little bit. And as we look in your seven day forecast, you can see not much changes in terms of our temperatures. We might squeeze out a rain shower on Sunday, though that chance very low at this point. Do think most of us do stay dry through the middle of next week, but in your most accurate 10 day forecast, you'll see that's when that next more solid rain chance comes in. Maybe a soaking rainfall late week Thursday, potentially into Friday, bringing our temperatures back down from the 60s to the 50s once again. So Manny, hope you're enjoying the fall weather because there is a whole much of it to come.